Hi there, welcome to another week's edition of whatever we call our little show. The Waller Show? Yeah. The Lucky Waller Show? That's it. it. Sounds perfect. Yeah. Good week last week, Charles? Huge week last week. Yeah. What do we have? Loved you at Mooney Valley. What, what about Debbie Capetus, isn't it? And her family. Aren't their horses flying? Oh. Just having the time of her life. Labdien got there by the barest of margins, but it was enough. Another gem of a ride from Ben Mellon. Yep, he's riding outstanding for us. And what did he do in the first race at Flemington the next day? Oh, just pulled out the four timer. On? All Cerise. He's very good. He's doing yeah. a great job. No, he's fantastic. So, All Cerise, four in a row. Who would have thought? I would have sacked her in June. You would have? Yeah. Wouldn't you? Almost. Well, well, almost. Almost. I'd hate to have gone to another trainer and she's um, gone around like that. It would have made us look pretty ordinary. You yeah. included. Yeah. That's and funny. then Saturday was a good day. Press statement. It was good to have him back. High quality colt. Um, he made it look easy. He as did. did Hugh Bowen. What a gem of a ride. Uh, we're lucky to have the services of most of Australia's leading riders riding for the stable. And it makes, makes it a, a, a bit easier, doesn't it? Of course it, it does. Tommy Berry, he was in similar form. He's yeah. written seven or eight winners just in the last week, I think, including Religify on Saturday. Yeah. And Chris yesterday. Back in the winner's circle. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Staff have put a lot of hard work into him. He's not the easiest of horses to train, and our staff have done a fantastic job. So well done to the owners. And Tommy wrote a winner for us yesterday. She's a rainbow. Yeah. Did you see that one coming? Yeah. 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 I cheered at home. <laughs> Beat the stable mate Tuscadero. What else did we have? Zavaroni on Sunday. Zavaroni. Star Thoroughbreds, another winner. Yeah. That was a gem of a ride from Craig Newitt. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And it just shows the stable working well, sending horses into state. She was laying in badly in Sydney, sent it to Melbourne, gets on the other leg, bang, straight as an arrow. Nice to take her home. In she goes. Yeah. Right. Right. Straight into it. Flemington? Flemington, not Flemington. Caulfield. Caulfield, rather. Caulfield. Yeah, Futurity Stakes, Spobang. Win a terrific race first up in the oar. Got very. We got very wide, and he got wider and wider <laughs> and wider and wider. And the sections were still terrific. I said to the owners after the race, I said, well, in my report that it was probably his, one of his best races of his life, but it didn't go down too well. But it no. was a good run, very good run. So he's got Sometimes barrier you two get results, though, don't you? Yeah, barrier two on Saturday. Um, first up's his best run, but he's normally good for two runs. Let's hope it's Saturday he gets his chance from gate two. Yeah, yeah. Straight into Ramwick, Royal Ramwick, Royal Ramwick. Okay, for Charlie Duckworth. Race one, defrost my heart. You met the Queen once, didn't you? Did she come to your school? She did. She came and opened a house at our school. Yeah, opened a house at the school. Mm. Yeah. Named it after herself. Did she? Mm. Queen Elizabeth House? No, just Queen's. Queen's House. Very good. Did you shake her hand? No. Yeah. No, I have. <laughs> um, right. All too hard handicap. Great stallion standing at Vinery. Who are shareholders in press statement? We've got some good stuff supporting us at the moment, which we really appreciate. Yeah, it's massive help. Big help. Defrost my heart, Hugh Bowman. One run short, last start, loomed up to win, didn't quite nail the stable mate, Springbok Flyer, who is rock hard fit. And it was a phenomenal effort by Springbok. It was. He's going terrific, Springbok Flyer. He's drawn well, oh, he's drawn nine of nine on Saturday, but it doesn't really affect his racing style, does it? No. Jeez, he's hard to get past, I know. Jeez, yeah. just roll forward. Going to Riffel. Inform jockey Tom Berry aboard and Hugh rides to Frost My Heart again. Yeah. Two others in the race. Another now, cocktail. He's ready to go. He's trialled last week and trialled well. Yeah. He likes the distance. He's looking for a good track. I like, I know it's hard. Everyone's waiting to have a bet on him. I and now's the time, do you think? So why not? Yeah. Now's the time to have a bet on him. Yeah. Well, now's the time to... No, no you didn't Thursday. Wednesday. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. 
I still like to see them second preparation. Okay. But I wouldn't surprise me. I just think you'll be able to set him up, set it up for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go hard in front. He's still got to do it in Australia. He does. Yeah, he does. And loving him off a last start win. Yeah. Steps up in distance and in grade, but I think he has one at the trip or similar to it back in your yeah. your homeland. My land. Um, was he winning at dodgy tracks or good tracks? No, his form was okay. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Well, he'll run well, and um, we've got a few races off. And then, then what? Yeah, what's going on there, Chris? We've got five races forget, off. You forget the nominations, Charles. I must have must have lost an email. Well, we certainly make up for it late in the day. Yeah, race six. Race six, the Guy Walter Stakes. Great honour to have a race. And the race named after the great man. Very good man. Uh, so we've got Amicus, Barry 10 of 10. Good win first up, wasn't it? Huge win. Mm. Huge. Hugh Barman back aboard, aboard again. We'll need his magic on Saturday. Yeah. Barry yeah. Tone, yeah, for sure. Then in the Chipping Norton. Let's hope for more success than last year. Oh, well, I don't. What happened? We ran. Well, we had eight runners, and not in, not any of them in the first three, were they? Oh, really? Well, maybe we were third. We could often two with bang bang. Okay. No, well, thanks for bringing that up, Charlie. You're a great, great uh, team builder and great for one's... your confidence. You know? mm. So, do we want to talk about them, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. no, we can. Preferment. Going good. Yep. Yeah. Miles too short, he'll run the Australian Cup in a couple of weeks. He loves 2000, he loves Leamington. Okay. Who shot the barman? Third up, he'll be ready to go bang. Yeah. I think the mile will be a bit short from second up. Is uh, too good? Outstanding. Yeah. His, sec- his third up run will either be the chief, um, Grand Vet in three weeks or two weeks of Sky High Stakes. Leaning towards the Sky High Stakes, then he can go two weeks into the BMW. Watch okay. out, BMW, here he comes. Like that, isn't it? Grand Marshal. Exactly the same as who shot the barman, but watch out, Sydney Cup. Especially if we get a bit of rain about, he just goes to another level. He won the race last year. He's pretty well weighted in it when the weights came out the other day. I think he's at about 54. He's going well, but can't expect him to perform over a mile, even 2,000. 2,500, he'll start to show some form in two miles. Look out, Charlie. It's amazing the jump we mm. can do, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you're, you even you performing from a mile to 2,000. Yeah. He's a real noticeable one for me. But most of the Australian horses you can get away with coming through the distances, the good horses will be sharp over shorter. You guys see it more in England or Europe. You identify it on the training tracks, is that right? Yeah. We can't hear. I don't know why. Um, but you can see that 22,000 metre horses, it would be strange to be running them over a mile, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, especially group one horses. And you don't like running the horses, you don't like winning money either, do you, over there? No, there's no money to be won. Yeah. <laughs> Wait to think of here. Right, Storm the Stars, he, he did win a bit of money up there. He did, I think he's won close to a million, Charles. Yeah. Tell us about Good him. horse. Proper horse. Proper horse? Why, he'd be one of the best imports. Australia's ever seen. There you go. Don't you think? Yes. It's taken a while to adapt. Work-wise, condition-wise, looks outstanding. His exhibition gallop was enormous. He's sound. Didn't quite get to where he in the exhibition gallop, but if you... But he real, was spotting him 15. He was spotting him 15, for goodness sake. Yeah. He was. Yeah. So he's going well. The mile's going to be a touch short, but watch out for this bloke's class. And then when he gets up to the 2,000, 2,400, Look at And the mighty winks. Barrier 8, Hugh Bowman, come through her first up run well, worked well, looks terrific. She's ready to go. Simple as that. Yeah. Loves the distance, likes the track. Not a lot else to say about her. She's self explanatory. She? Nods as good as a wing. Perfect. And the Liverpool City Cup. Good project. Resuming after his Group 1 win. Group 1 win. Uh, and they tell me you've ridden them this week, Charlie. I have. You were very impressed on. Yeah, it was Tuesday, yesterday morning. So he got to Normus. Because he improved since last prep. Who did he work with? On his own. On his own. Did he win? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> cool company. 
can't fault his English form. No, no. Another one stakes winner is he? He was good horse. Good horse. Yeah. Good horse. Good horse. Good horse. Good horse. What's the difference between a good horse and a proper horse? A good horse is just good, you know. The, the proper uh, horse. Just proper horse. You actually stand back. And you, that's a proper horse. <laughs> you know. There you go. Um, he's going well. He's had plenty of time to acclimatise. He raced first up at Flemington when they couldn't make up ground and still made up ground a little bit anyway. So um, he's going well. Draw 13. He's a horse here. going towards Doncaster. Yep. Yeah, bad draw. Good jockey. To yeah, absolutely. Silver ball. Oh, silver ball. He's come back well, a bit short for him. Yeah. But he's ready to chime in second or third up. Absolutely. Ready for a good prep. And weary. Likes a wet track. Yeah. It's been a while since we've seen his best form. Bit of a confidence boost on Saturday, hopefully. Yeah, he worked with Storm of the Stars on Saturday and worked very well. Yeah. But I'd like to see him back in form and on wet tracks. For sure. Yeah. And Amavasia, yeah, first needs emergency. Second, needs two scratching. Two. Second, yeah. Bit disappointing, they're only running 12, but out of our control, Charles. Pretty Horses sure going well, got a great first up record. If he doesn't go there, he might go to Kim Berra uh, next week. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's a wrap. Happy cheering, everybody. What's your best for the weekend? Storm the Stars for a place. I just thought you were going to run, in, run into third. Well, good. There you go. You heard it here first. <laughs>